My name is Grant Friedman and this is the introduction to Photoshop CS6 series on PSD Tuts. Today I'm going to introduce you to the new content aware option available within the patch tool. The patch tool has been around for quite some time but they've recently added a new content aware option. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and select the patch tool. Now make sure you have um, selected the content aware option up here from this drop down menu. Now go ahead and, and uh, create a selection. What we're going to do here is we're going to grab the selection and then we're going to replace these pixels with pixels from another area of the image. So just click and then drag and you can see that it's allowing me to preview the selection as I drag it. So go ahead and find um, an area that looks similar in terms of lighting and shading. This one should work. So now once you're happy with that selection, just let go. And now Photoshop will turn through that and will replace those pixels using the, the content aware options. As you can see, it did a pretty good job. Another area where this might work is up here at the top where this ostrich is sitting. So trying to replace this area with um, using um, uh, other tools in Photoshop can be done, but it might not be so easy. So you can do is I've got this selection here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it from another section maybe over here we'll see what happens so make sure to line up the ground and so you can see where that line goes and once you've got um, your selection just let go you can remove that and you can see it did a pretty good job now maybe the, this area right in here could, could use a little work but that can be done that could be fixed pretty easily using some other tools. Now I'm going to show you how you can use the the new content aware features available in the patch tool a bit more creatively. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the foot the the eyes of the um, model on the right and move them to the model on the left and using the patch tool this can be done very easily. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that snapping is turned off because I don't want Photoshop to try to snap this selection at all. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm on the correct layer. So I've got the closed eyes layer selected here. And that's what I want. Now I'm going to just enable my rulers. I've already gone in here and drawn some rulers out just to make sure that I have everything aligned correctly because you don't want her eyes to be too far apart or too close together. So now I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit. Might need to zoom in just a little bit more. So we're going to center our picture here. And so we're going to start off, um, and I've, I've already selected, um, made a selection. So I'm just going here and just going to select and then go load selection. And then I'm going to start off with her left eye here. So as you can see, we've already got her eye selected. Let me move this out of the way a bit move these panels just a little bit out of the way here. So now I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to grab the eye and I'm going to make sure that I've got them lined appropriately with using my rulers. And now I'm just going to let go. So as you can see it actually did a pretty good job and um, it moved the eyes in, it blended it with, with the skin and it actually even resized it a bit. So I'm going to um, disable that, um, that selection there. And then I'm going to pull that. As you can see, she, now she has one eye opened and one eye closed. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but this time using her right eye. So I'm going to pan over just a little bit. I'm going to go to the selection. I'm going to load the right eye. So now I'm going to go over here and just do the same thing. I'm going to go grab her eye and I'm going to make sure I align it correctly and that looks good so I'm going to let go and now I'm going to let's get rid of everything so now you can see what it looks like so did a pretty good job so now just to sort of preview this let's go into um, our crop tool. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually I want to go in and enable snapping again. And now I'm going to grab our crop tool and I'm going to crop 
out the old image. And now just going to, to uh, show these, this original closed eyes layer. Now you can sort of see the difference here. So let's move this out of the way and we'll zoom in just a bit. And so this was the original and this is the new one. It's kind of creepy if you just keep clicking on that. But so that's how you could actually use the patch tool, maybe a little bit uh, more creatively and maybe a little bit more practically. And so, you know, if you were a photographer and you had to actually um, move an eye from one um, shot to another shot, this would be a really practical um, application of that feature. I hope that you enjoyed this quick explanation of the new content aware features available from within the patch tool. This new option is a nice tweak and I think that you will really enjoy using it in Photoshop CS6. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.